So yet again, another sevens leg is just around the corner and we are still waiting for that turning point where Samoa find that form from last season. Hopefully it is soon, although with the players that they are missing from this Vancouver sevens competition, perhaps we do have to wait just that little bit longer. But in this preview, we'll be looking through at the Samoan sevens squad, their upcoming fixtures, including who is in their group, and then a prediction at the end of how far we think they will be able to get, but they did finish in 10th place in the last competition, so I'm hoping to see a bit of improvement compared to where they finished in Perth. But now looking through at the squad, it will be as follows. Volvas Apasua, he is once again the captain. Now in this league of the sevens, there is no Milani Mataval, there is no Va'a Pilomaliko, there is also no Paul Scanlon, the so three massive names missing, but someone who remains the same, of course, is Volvasa. Afasua, Fama Oni Junior Lalo Milo, BJ Lima, Motu Opitai, Yuna Sioni, someone who did come back for the last leg of the Sevens competition in Perth, did have a little bit of an impact, but still, of course, finding his form from what he did have in the last season. And something that him and Motu Opitai have in common, they are two of the bigger players out there on the field for the Samoans. They need to use that physicality. Something that they've been lacking just a little bit over their last few legs of the sevens. And that could be down to the fact that they are missing a few of those experienced heads. And I'm hoping that as we build towards the Olympics for Samoa, we start to see a few more little improvements made. Taunu Nauli Vaya. Then there is a new name. It is Des Sipulona Fawa. He is going to be making his debut for the Samoans here. So they are still trying to give a few young players a chance before reaching the Olympics to work out exactly who their best squad is. Maybe some of the guys missing, it is more so that they want to make sure that they don't end up with serious injuries. Moving into that Olympics competition, still got Nueli Letofia in the squad though, alongside Tom Maiva, Steve Onisai, Eliza Peter Alafipo, who I think has been tremendous throughout 2024, Fafoi Falaniko, Paul Eti Slater, and then another debut, it is Dan Patalesio. So they have got two debuts that could happen for this Vancouver Sevens. But looking through at their upcoming fixtures, like I mentioned, they did finish 10th in the Perth Sevens. That was up against New Zealand, in which they were defeated 21 points to 14. Now they do not have New Zealand in their group for Vancouver, which is a little bit of a welcome change for Samoa. In recent times, it's always been they've had Fiji or New Zealand in their group, but this time, they have managed to avoid them. Instead, they have got Australia, France, and USA. Now, that is still a very tough group because Australia have been doing very well. They made it through to the final of the Perth Sevens. France are a little bit of a dark horse still on the Seven circuit. I believe this will be the first time that we do get to see Antoine Dupont in action for the French and then the USA. They're a bit of a hit and miss. They either go well or they don't go so well. So that is where Samoa definitely need to pick up that all-important victory. Their first game will be up against the Australians. That has taken place on Saturday morning New Zealand time at 11.58am. Their second game will be on Saturday afternoon. That is up against France, 4.40pm New Zealand time. And then their last game of the group stage, it will be up against the USA on Sunday morning, 10.27am New Zealand time. So, if they can win two out of three of their games, they should have more than enough points to make their way through to the quarterfinals. And of course, the two best third place teams also go through. So even if they lose a couple games Samoa, they need to make sure they're still keeping the games close, getting those bonus points when they're available, and also picking up at least just the one win. But now we are up to that stage of a prediction. Now in Cape Town, I thought they were going to go quite well Samoa. I think they finished almost dead last. Last week in Perth, even though they were in an extremely tough group, I did still have a little bit of hope that they would make it through to the next stage. They did not. And they still managed to find themselves going here dear with New Zealand in that playoff game because New Zealand also did miss out on the quarterfinals. But for Samoa this week, such a young team. Still a few experienced heads. I'm going to say they make it through to the quarterfinals. I don't know how in terms of whether they're going to be in the top two of their group or whether they will be the best third place team. I actually think that that is probably the more likely occurrence for the Samoan team. So I'm going to say that they get through to the quarterfinals, but unfortunately that's probably when they're going to meet either New Zealand, Fiji, maybe Argentina or South Africa. And I'm going to say that Samoa then end up 
losing that game. But do let me know how far you think Samoa will get in the comments down below. We are going to be live streaming all the games for Samoa, doing the live commentary to be sure to check that out as well. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all for the next one.